Hello everybody, Mr. Stixman here, and welcome back to Marble World. I cannot wait to show you guys the three marble runs that we're going to look at today. First of all, we've got this absolutely massive one here, which is so good I could play with it for hours. We're going to send 10,000 marbles into this one. We've also got this awesome little fruit sorter run here, which is a lot of fun to use. And we're going to have a race with my own viewers around Candy Fountain. Everything that we see in today's video has been made by some of the amazing creators over on the Steam Workshop and I'll leave links in the description below in case you want to check them out for yourselves. Also, if you want me to name a marble for you and send you down a track in a future video, let me know in the comments section down below. Let's go! Right then, now I cannot wait to have a go with this marble run here because not only does it look really cool and it's massive look at the size of this thing but also the more marbles that you spawn in the better it gets so down here i'm going to start spamming the f key there we go and there's a loop straight away they go down into the center of the run and they're going to start going up and uh, you know along the whole track in just a minute so we just keep spawning in some more marbles here look how many there are we're going to get definitely at least 5,000 I think and they're going right into the middle of the run now so essentially they all filter right into the center here they're all going to come here then they're either going to go up the escalator or the tube and I think all of these ones yeah they're just going down on the escalator there so they're going to go up this tube look how many are going up here into the funnel which is a sort of upside down uh, because there's no gravity there at the moment or it's like negative gravity so they're all going upside down and then along the tube up here and then they're regaining gravity and you know going back down again here so <laughs> that's why i was saying the more marbles you spawn in the better because look at this how much is going on here isn't it awesome to watch and uh, there's uh, several different routes so we've got this spiral, but I think, you know, essentially they all go down to the bottom again and then go up the tube again. So it's a bit like a big loop, except there are lots of different paths. And in a minute, I'll have a look at this bit over here, because that's really cool. But uh, yeah, this route seems to go down the spiral, a bit of a rainbow road sort of thing going on there. Then a big transparent funnel. Uh, I think they're called swirl pits, actually, but uh, I call them funnels. <laughs> then they're going down this tube all the way down. It's a bit like a big water slide, isn't it, as they go down here. And then back onto this track, all of the way over here. Goodness me, I haven't even seen this bit before, actually. There's a ramp here uh, as well, which is awesome. Check that out. They're all jumping over it, look. That's brilliant. And what happens next? Oh, okay, so they're going up the spiral. I didn't realise they go up this one. So, yeah, actually, what they're doing is going up the tube in the centre of the spiral and then actually around this track and down it properly as well. Oh, that's just brilliant. Let's have a look here. Oh, look at that, that sort of viewpoint there. That is really, really cool, isn't it? <laughs> this is quite a spectacle, isn't it, this track? Very, very enjoyable to watch, I have to say. So when they finish on this spiral, where are they going next? Oh, I see, so down the tube and back into the center and up again. These escalators are loaded with marbles right now, all of the way to the top, I would have thought. Oh no, they're quite slow, aren't they? So they've only got halfway up. Um, even though we've been, you know, on this track for a couple of minutes now. That's quite interesting, actually. Let's have a look over here next, and I will spawn in perhaps a few more. How many do we have? Okay, let's get up to 5,000. We have 4 and a half, 4.9, 5,124. Right, let's just stop there, because I don't want to blow up the game or anything like that. But uh, here we go. Here's this uh, 2D uh, design that we've got as they fall down from an alternative route up there. And there's a few spinners, triangular spinners there. That's really, really cool, isn't it? Down these different obstacles, a bit of, uh, you know, curved track stuff going on down the bottom. And then they're going to go either down the side of the whole run. And that's actually back to the start line, isn't it? Where we've got the, uh, the loop here. Oh, look at this. Look what's happening in this tube. They're all spinning around. How is that? Wait a minute. How is that happening? Oh, it must have booster pads, which are invisible. Or something. Oh, look at this. This is brilliant. I didn't know this happened. <laughs> Let's just see if we can actually find out where the booster pads are. If I just uh, pause the game for a second here. Show invisible paint. And there we go. These green strips are invisible booster pads. Apart from that one triangle there, look. That's, uh, that's still in. But that's, yeah, that's why they're spinning around in here. Let's just play the game again. Isn't that fantastic? What an awesome thing to look at. I love this marble run. It's just epic, isn't it? It's so cool. 
and uh, what I, I, I've probably missed a few bits, but we'll try and make sure we've seen everything here. That marble is going off to space. So where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, maybe. Oh, I see. So actually, the whole thing is enclosed. If we if we zoom out here, look, you can actually see these green bits again are invisible, but they are actually panels there that you can see through. So yeah, no marbles should be able to get out. This one up here, look. There's a few up here, which are miles above the actual marble run, and they're just stuck here for now. But, uh, oh, wow, look at that. Look how busy it is. And, of course, we can spawn in, like, up to 25,000 marbles. I might spawn in, like, 10,000 or so. Um, and we'll have a look. Should we do that, guys? I might have to go into slow motion for that. This funnel here is... <laughs> there's a bit of a jam inside it. But I think, yeah, they're getting through all right, aren't they? Okay, then. So let's try and get to 10,000 marbles uh, and see how that goes. Uh, so we're spawning a few more here. It's going to get so busy in a minute. That's six and a half thousand marbles now. I'm just doing it gradually because it's going to get a bit more <laughs> difficult to run for my computer. Um, although I have built a new computer now, so it should be a lot more powerful than the old one. Uh, that's it, seven and a half thousand marbles now. The only problem is, right, I mean, we have run up to 25,000 before. But recently I've been getting crashes at around 14 to 15,000. So even if, you know, the machine can cope with it, it seems to just crash at some point anyway. Um, oh, wow. Okay, 8.2. There we go. 8,500. We haven't even seen this jump yet, actually. That's... Oh, brilliant. Are they hitting that tube? No, they're going past it. They're jumping off and zooming off to the other end of the track where there's a big quarter pipe here. Uh, and then they roll back down to the centre again. There's actually two jumps as well. <laughs> That's brilliant, isn't it? Should we follow them, guys? I'm just going to follow this pink one here, right? In camera mode, and we'll watch it go down the jump. And I'll try and speed up the game a bit as well, if it's going to work. There we go. Not quite normal speed, but kind of quick. Alright, here we go then. Down the ramp. See where it goes, see how far it gets. Whoa! Whoa, right to the end of the run. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go that far. That's really good, isn't it? Nice. And we're on 9,500 now, so I'm just going to spawn in a few more loads. And there we go, 10,000 marbles, everybody. 10,000 uh, in this run here. Look how busy it is right in the center. So, yeah, now the escalators are fully loaded right up to the top. There are a few gaps, actually. But for the most part, it goes right up to the top. And, uh, of course, up here, even more busy. Because not only are the uh, the escalators filtering into this thing, but also we've got the tube as well. They're all going into the same swirl pit here. So it's really busy there. Then underneath as well. Wow, it's actually, it's literally overflowing this track. Look how many are crammed into that track. The colours are really chosen very well though, aren't they? I think they work very well together. The blue, pink, purple and white. But yeah, I just had to start off with this marble run in today's video because it's so cool. I, I adore this thing and I could play with this for hours and hours. But guys, I think now it's time to go and have a look at the next marble run. Now, this marble run is a lot smaller than the other marble run we've just seen, uh, but I really love this. It's uh, It's got great colours and it's also quite an interesting idea. Now, apparently, this is the creator's first marble run that they ever made in this game, apparently, anyway. So, that's quite impressive. I mean, my first marble run was nowhere near as cool as this. So, the idea is that the marbles will come down the board here and file off into these different lanes here. And we've got different fruit to represent the lanes. And we have the melon, the purple grapes, the green apple, the tomato the pineapple pear uh, red apple green grapes and the pumpkin at the end so I, I think the idea is that we just see uh, you know which lane wins which fruit is going to win so pick your fruit guys which one is going to get the most marbles at the end and I'm going to spawn in those marbles right now so they're now going down the spiral over here I think where are they oh no there they are oh no I've, I made a mistake Right, let's try that again, shall we? Here we are, we're restarting, and they're going down properly this time. So nice colours, and they've also got that really cool sparkle effect going behind them here. So they're going to drop down onto the board in a moment and hit these spinners first. We'll see what happens. Here they come. I'll do one in uh, camera mode in a minute as well, so we do it in sort of a third-person view. But, uh, oh, I think pineapple has got the first marble. The green apple has the second one, but loads more are coming down. We actually have 180 marbles here at the moment. So who's winning so far? Pineapple, I think, is definitely winning in the centre. Uh, but purple grapes is doing really well. Look at that. The purple grapes have actually won that, I think. Yeah, definitely. 
The purple grapes are the winner. All right, let's try this again. We're going to go into camera mode, but pick your fruit again this time and we'll see, you know, hopefully there'll be a different winner this time. Now I'm going to spawn them in and we'll just pause it here and select a marble. Let's choose one kind of near the back, I think, so we can see what's going on around us. And I'll just select camera mode. There we are, camera mode. And let's go. Let's see what happens here. We might lose visual <laughs> in the spiral because in a minute we might be inside a track. If we're lucky. Oh, no, we can see. That's all right. We'll just go around here. Try not to get too dizzy and, uh, and see what happens when we get off onto the board. And here we go onto the board through the spinners. I don't even know which marble is ours at the moment. Oh, there we go. It's that green one, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm lost now. Here we go through the cylinders. And we're going into the uh, purple grapes. So they were the winner last time, actually. Uh, however, interesting. The pineapple is quite even. and still a few more coming down here. Some of them have got stuck behind the cylinders. But this lane is a bit wider, isn't it? So I reckon there's a few more marbles Perhaps in the pineapple but again I reckon the purple grapes have won that let's just put in a second lot and we'll leave those on the board and maybe we can knock some of these ones free there's actually a big stack of them here look behind this first spinner so hopefully that's going to be knocked there we go yes it's been freed up and hopefully no one else will get stuck here yes that's going quite well isn't it though oh no Okay, it's gone, it's gone. Right, they're all coming down. <laughs> this is so much fun, this bubble run. I really like it. And pineapple and the pear and the purple grapes have actually pretty much, you know, filled up their entire lanes here. The red tomato there is uh, just behind. There seems to be a bit of a pattern here. The poor melon has only got one marble in it. So sorry if you did choose the melon, everybody. But I think... <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, yeah, the melon was last. But with these three are sort of joint second last, I suppose, in a way, aren't they? Anyway, that's quite a small run. But I just thought it's really fun. And I had to show it because I, I really like this one. And now it's time to have a race at Candy Fountain. All right, then. So now it's time to have a race around Candy Fountain. Now, this thing is huge and the finish line is up here. So this is actually the fountain part of the track. And the winner is the first person to get onto this pad here. And then, you know, second and third and fourth and so on will kind of stack up above um, in this tube. If I just select the tube, you can see that is the sort of winning tube here, right? So if you get into that, then you are one of the winners. Anyway, you can just about see how large this thing really is. And if we go down here, there is the start line. And today we have 62 marbles named after my own viewers. And if you guys would like a marble named after you in a future video, let me know in the comments section down below and I'll do that for you. But yeah, we've just got the, uh, the blue set here and the red set. But I reckon there's nothing left to do than to put the barriers down and get this race started. So here we go, three, two one go barriers down and they're gonna shoot off here on these booster pads there's loads of booster pads there there's a loop the loop loads of different tracks and it's gonna get very very busy and messy <laughs> as uh, everybody just goes everywhere now if you go right down to the bottom here you actually roll down right to the end and hit the escalator and go back up the top so it's not the end of the world if you do actually fall off the track you're still on the track but you have to kind of take the long way around and go back again um, but yeah, nobody is, a, is at the finish line just yet. If I just unselect that, there we go. So, uh, it, you know, basically, if you see yourself on this spiral here, then you're almost at the end. Artsy has just come off the escalator, as well as Nicholas there. And uh, goodness me, they're moving quite quick, aren't they? Mr. Me Seeks is there. I think Christina and Brian, Amogus and Wings as well. So you've gone back onto the track now. Oh, look at this. We've got people on the spiral. So, oh, hang on a minute. Wong Jing Hong uh, Mo has almost got to the top of the spiral here. Freddy is there as well. Noah Kanoa as well. So what you do is you go along here really fast. Look how quickly they move along this track. And there we are. We might have our first winners, guys. In fact, if I just put it into slow motion, we have Heaven right at the top. Now, you haven't quite won yet, Heaven, but you're almost there. So what you've got to do is go into the swirl pit. You've got to hit one of those nails or the spinners that you can see, right? And you've got to be knocked into the swirl pits here. Oh, that was close. And then you have to fall down the hole 
and you go down the tube onto the first place. That's the sort of podium right there. As we see Tyler and BD Fun TV going along in the background. Okay, so we have Noah Kanoa at the top of the tube as well. And also we have uh, Wong Jing Hong as well and Freddy. So we have four marbles and Heaven is there, but you've gone a bit lower at the moment. Austin is here as well. Austin has suddenly appeared out of nowhere and could be the winner of the race. But who knows because... Uh, oh, what's this falling down again? <gasps> Who's going to make it, guys? I have tested it, so it does work. <laughs> but it might take a while for somebody to win this. Let's just have a quick look around the uh, the rest of the track as well. So we've got lots of people here. Whip Snap, Henry and Thomas on the spiral coming up as well. And actually, Grace is on her way up to the top as well. So lots of people are now potentially going to get first place. We have Potato Tomato here. And uh, Whip Snap is just about to go around the corner. Look, we are in slow motion, so it's normally a bit quicker. Let me just speed things up a bit. There we are. There we go. So Whip Snap is just rounding the bend at the end. And you're going to join the Marble Fountain as well, or the Candy Fountain even. Over here, we have Terry and David and Shell I Am as well. Mr. Me Sinks over there. Promoter Gen Mawarble. Pro Promoter Gen Mawarble. <laughs> BD Fun TV is here. Whip Snap is at the top of the fountain. Who else do we have new here? Austin is still there. Potato Tomato as well. Uh, Tolgat is coming up the spiral. And there is Henry and Thomas R. Now, they look like they might be stuck in the spiral, but I think they're going to be freed in a minute and they might get through. Let's see if somebody can knock them forwards. Here comes Grace around the corner. So is Grace going to knock Henry and Thomas on their way up to the top? Now, here she comes. Go on, Grace. Knock them. Oh, no. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. <laughs> We might have a traffic jam, guys. We might get a bit of a traffic jam here, but that's all right. We've still got some winners, potential winners up the top. I'm going to speed up the game a bit now to normal. It's so quick, isn't it? But that's about normal speed, I think. Double check that. That's actually under. Yeah, there we go. So that is normal speed. Look how fast it is here. Henry just fell down again. Oh, no. <laughs> Guys, this is going to take a while, I think, to get a winner. Oh, look, Whip Snap. Oh, Whip Snap was in the swell pit and just got knocked out again. What a shame. That was close. What's happening in the spiral here? Tolgat and Elderton. Wait a minute. Has Grace got through then with the others? Oh, yeah. Grace has made it up now to the top with the others. So that's good. Nobody's made it to first place yet. Uh, Ramat E is now in the spiral, I think. Yes, with uh, Zarian Sunstone as well. Ramat is just going up there really quickly, right to the top. And there's another traffic jam here, so hopefully that's going to clear. I think Ramat might be able to clear that traffic jam. Wait, what am I doing? I'm over here. Oh no, guys. I think I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. I've lost the race already. I'm probably last place. I'm definitely not getting out of that situation. Let's speed it up again. Oh, okay, here we go, guys. Freddy. Freddy is going to win. Yes, we got a winner. Well done, Freddy. You have won the race. Now that was an epic win because to be honest, it's not easy, is it, to get down that funnel there? Who's going to be second though? Look at this. Freddy has got loads of energy here. <laughs> that marble has so much energy just bouncing about. That's in slow motion as well, guys. Let's put it up to normal speed and look at that. Look how much energy that one has. Look at this, guys. We've got some more marbles now going into the fountain. So we've been joined by some extra ones. Formula One has now joined in second place. Well done to you. Who is next? Who's going to be in third? Now, there's loads of people still on the track over here as well. So plenty more opportunity for more winners here in the tube. But, um, yeah, it's going to take a while for some of these to get round, I'm sure. Alex is now in the spiral, heading up to the top. So Alex is going to join the fountain and could get third place, even though you've only just got there. And the Augie Boy Gamer is also right at the top of the spiral. You'll get there in a minute. Don't worry. I reckon you're going to get around. Yeah, there we go. Go on. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, you made it. You made it. So now you're coming round and you will get into the fountain as well. Uh, there you go. <laughs> oh, that was quick, wasn't it? But still, we only have first and second here. And a third place, Ramat E. Well done. Well deserved. Because you've been there for ages trying to get in. So well done. We have our top three guys. We sadly do have a few stuck marbles. We've got uh, Chaotic Doodle, ZYR and Riley Underwood Gaming as well over here. And I think uh, I'm probably still stuck somewhere as well. Yeah, there's me. Look, I, there's no chance for me anymore. <laughs> I'm right at the beginning. I'm just above the beginning. That's a shame. But isn't this race really good fun, guys? It's quite different, isn't it? It's very unique. I've never seen a finish line like this before 
So I thought that was a really interesting idea. And I have actually tried several different tracks. I did. I actually recorded like different races for this video. But unfortunately the marbles kept getting stuck on them. And I didn't want you guys to keep getting stuck everywhere. Because there were so many marbles that were just not getting to the end. And I wanted people to have the best chance possible. So I had to scrap those videos and, uh, and do this track instead. But I'm so happy about it because this is a brilliant marble run. We have a fourth place. We have Luke as well. Uh, is that Luke Ilderton there? Well done to you. And uh, are we going to get a fifth? Yes, we have Zarian Sunstone in fifth place. And you've been there for a while as well. So congratulations. I honestly think, right, it's probably going to take about an hour to fill up the whole tube. It, at least an hour, I reckon. Because <laughs> there's so many. But apparently you can put thousands of marbles onto this track. Apparently that works. Promoter Genma Warble and Artsy just at the bottom of the escalator. Adam there as well and Christina. And we have Ian in 6th place, so well done Ian, uh, you've made it at last. Now let's just go into slow motion, who do we have in the fountain? Noah, Jack and Grace, Potato Tomato and uh, a bunch of other people here. Oh did you see that guys, Heaven was so close to getting through and the Augie Boy Gamer just missing the hole, well done. That is so close isn't it, I think both of you, as long as you don't, as long as you don't hit the sides of the swirl pit you might actually get down the hole in just a moment and well done the orgy boy gamer is oh are you gonna get there come on yes oh no go on something's happening oh yes you made it in the end that was so close i was wondering what was happening there you got a bit stuck in the hole but uh yes you've made it just after ian in seventh place i think well done heaven is now definitely going down into eighth and bd fun tv actually could be our ninth position that is looking pretty good for ninth right now wings just in the background dropping down really fast below i do reckon i i think bd fun tv is ninth place to be honest and we'll, we'll get our top 10 guys before we finish the video i think a top 10 would be a quite a good place to end up wouldn't it so oh you're almost out i'm sure you're going down there into ninth in a minute the trouble is though if somebody else joins the swirl pit actually they could knock BD Fun TV. And there you go. So that's it. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, you've done it. All right. <laughs> good work. Good work. Should we go into camera mode on one of these marbles and see what happens? Let's choose Henry here. Let's let's do camera mode with Henry. Okay, there we go. Now this might make us a bit dizzy, but we'll just try it for a few seconds. Right, camera mode. And we'll go into normal speed, shall we? This is going to be very fast. Here we go. And go. Okay, okay. <laughs> Actually, it's so fast that I'm not getting dizzy. For now, anyway. Oh, okay, now I'm getting dizzy. Right, I've got to stop that. Okay, I, I can't cope with it anymore. But BD Fun TV is in ninth position. And look how much energy these marbles have. I think it's because of the booster pads are still affecting them even in the tube here. One more person to come down here in 10th place and then we can finish up. So we go to slow motion again. Who do we have? Oh, Potato Tomato has done it, look. Well done, Potato Tomato. You've been there for ages, so well deserved. 10th place. Well done to all of our winners, but well done to everybody for taking part. Thank you for, you know, offering up your names uh, for the races here. I really appreciate it, guys. And don't forget, if anyone else would like me to name a marble for you in a future video, let me know in the comments section down below. I'm also considering doing some different types of Marble World videos fairly soon. Possibly. I'm not sure yet, but I've got some plans. So I might not put names into every video, but we'll keep on doing these showcase ones. And of course, we will do races and we'll keep that going as well. So in addition to different videos. Anyway, guys, I think that's just about it for today, but I really hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button as well. It really does help me out a huge amount and I, I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Take care, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye for now.